So let's jump back over to the code. Control Shift F9 to get out of there. Let's come over here. And let's jump into um, how about the aim cam AI. Let's go to on inner frame because if you remember that's where we're checking to see whether or not the camera is or the ball is idle and then jumping back. So let's make a change to the code right here. And all we really want to do is we're going to do a check to see whether or not we're in overhead mode because I don't want um, uh, I don't want the camera to, or to, yeah, I don't want to go back to aim mode if we're in overhead mode because the idea is you could get the camera aimed and then you could switch over to overhead mode and you could potentially play the rest of the game in overhead mode if you just want to have that one aim set up um, and then just tweak your, your objects in the level as you, um, as you try uh, to get to the end. So let's say if it's not in overhead mode, then let's take all this code, we'll indent it. And throw another end on the on the back here. Okay, so let's jump back over here. Hit play. Okay, switch to overhead mode. And if we did it correctly, it shouldn't switch back. It should just jump over there, and we're, we'll stay in overhead mode. Okay, so that worked. But now, let's see what happens if we click the button. Okay, so it immediately goes into chain chase cam mode which is not what we want to do so let's go over to the code and that's on the on mouse button down so let's change the code in here okay so here we just have to make that same change that we made before so if we're not in overhead mode then we will as soon as we fire or press the button we'll switch over to chase cam mode I don't want to be able to move the aim unless there are certain uh, things that we can are certain um, requirements that are met first so let's go with first of all um, we don't want to be able to move the mouse if we're in overhead mode so if not this oops okay Move that in. But I don't think that's actually going to be just enough because um, we may be, you know, we may be switching back and forth between overhead and chase cam mode. And maybe while we're doing chase cam mode, we don't want to have any, any, um, you know, our finger on the screen or mouse movements to change the aim, even though we're not in aim, in aim mode. So let's also say that um, if the ball is not in play and okay so in order for the aim to move we have to be not in overhead mode and the ball is not in play so this sets it up so that the only time that we'll be able to aim is basically when 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 the ball is stationary and we're in aim mode so that's exactly what we want to do. So let's hit Control S to save, F7 to compile, run back over here. Let's, uh oh, and right away we have an error. Let's see what it is. Attempt to call a nil value. Let's go over to code. I don't even see where the error. Oh, you know what? I hit F7 to compile, and then I didn't even pay attention. So it says we're missing an and then. So let's try this again. We'll hit stop, run back over. Switch to scene mode, and we'll switch to overhead mode. Okay, so it should pop back over to the beginning. Now I'm going to move my mouse all around, and I'm going to try clicking the button again, and let's see if the ball ends up in about the same spot. It looks like it did, so we have success. We um, can't aim now. I'm gonna. I'm curious to see what happens if I switch cam mode right now. So that's interesting. So that's something that we're also going to have to fix. Is I switch back to the chase cam mode, and it switched over to the actual chase camera, even though right now we should be in aim mode. So we'll need to fix that. So let's jump over to the code. Control Shift F9. Code. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to want to do, um, I believe, let's try jumping over to the on toggle camera. So we're going to put in an extra little check here. 
So this is when it's in overhead mode. It's going to, let's see, let's also do if, ah, come on. Let's check to see if the ball's in play. If the ball is in play, we're gonna go ahead and do this right here. So if the ball's in play, we'll switch to the chase cam. Otherwise, we will set the current cam to the, the aim cam. We'll do an end, and then in either case, we want to set overhead back to false. So I think that's going to work. Um, you know, I always forget the then. You guys are probably watching the video going, "Come on, put that in there." All right, hit F7. Let's jump back over. Hit play. All right, let's make sure that this works the way we expect it to work. Okay, so all right. But now <laughs> we're missing our crosshair, so let me add that really quick. This is what a lot of development is like, is you add one feature and then you come in and you say, oh, you know what, we need to add another feature here. So you know what I should do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this, um, the crosshair, I'm actually gonna put the toggle in, um, in a function. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new function. Let's call this, um, let's see, set crosshair visibility. Okay, and let's go back to one of these, let's see, uh, mouse button down actually. Let's grab the code that we used there. Let's copy it. We'll go into the set crosshair visibility. We'll set the argument as being, um, let's see, visible. We'll paste the code in here. Back this up. Okay, so we wanna set this to whatever it says invisible. All right, so when we call this, um, it's either gonna set it as um, true, if it says cr set crosshair visibility, and we put true, then it's gonna make them visible. If we put false, then it's gonna make them invisible. So we'll save, hit F7. Let's run over to the on enter frame. Let's replace this code here with uh, this dot set crosshair visibility. Um, this is when we are um, switching back to the aim cam, so we want the crosshair to be visible. So we'll set that to true. Then we also had on mouse button down, so this is when we're switching over to the chase cam over the or the overhead cam. So on this one, we're going to do false. And then there was the toggle camera. So on that one, that's when we we're switching back to aim cam, then we want this to be uh, true. Save F7, let's jump back over to here. We'll hit play. And for some reason we're in overhead cam mode again. Now we need to figure, oh, you know what? We never we never closed it from before, okay. So completely stop, reload, there we go. Okay, we get an error in the log. Let's go over to the log and see what it is. Bad error, uh, argument type. And it is in the set crosshair visibility. So what did I do wrong here? Uh, it was on type zero, so that's this one right here. You know what, I think I may have misspelled that. Hold on one second, let's check that. Find editor, crosshair, okay, that's the problem. Okay, 
will stop. Go back. Switch over to scene mode. There we go. Okay, so I think that's it. Uh, we've done an overhead cam mode. We can switch back and forth. Uh, we still have that issue there where we set up the um, where it toggles over and puts the um, the crosshair there. You know what I'm going to do real quick. I was wrapping this video up, but let's just jump back into the toggle. And let's say that whenever we switch over to overhead cam mode, we're going to just make sure that this gets set to false. Okay, we'll switch to overhead mode. Um, so yeah, we've got our overhead camera set up. Um, gives the player the ability to see where the ball's going and tweak the objects from overhead without having to deal with, um, you know, aiming the ball every time. Maybe you just want to get it aimed, and then after that, you just want to keep hitting the mouse button and launching it in the same um, angle and everything, and just tweaking the objects to get to the end. So hopefully, this view is going to be pretty helpful. Um, I hope it wasn't too confusing. I know there was a lot going on. We were jumping back from function to function. That's why it's in a video. You can hit pause. You can rewind. If you have any questions, leave me some comments. Um, you know, feel free to um, to say, "Hey, I got confused. Please try to be clearer in the future." And I'll I'll try to plan things out. And the problem is, I I get an idea in my head. I do the code, and then um, I kind of just wing it to a certain degree on some of these. Um, some I plan out a little bit better. And uh, we'll see you next time.